Hello, this is Solar Business TV once again from InterSolar South America 2018. And now we have a pleasure to speak with uh, Florian, who is, uh, you know, the boss and also in charge of this crowd <laughs> behind. And imagine this is the last day, almost we are closing and there is such a crowd that we cannot even almost speak. Yes, so Florian, congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah, but now I would like to ask you, you know, like a funny question. Uh, when you came to our uh, Solar Future Today dinner, which was just, you know, the night before InterSolar, you were so tired. You looked, you know, like a almost killed, yeah, so tired man. And now, after this party, after all the days, you are so full of energy. Can you explain me why? Yes, uh, I guess that is quite obvious. It's because of the success we have here. So, see all the, the crowd here. We have uh, more or less 80% more visitors wow. here. We have an, a huge extensive um, conference and exhibition program. We have a lot of uh, positive feedbacks and of course that gives you energy. Sure. Yes. Because it was very interesting because uh, for the first time you had innovation stage, yes? Yeah. And uh, you will see the, some pictures from the innovation stage. Always crowded. Always. Yeah, yes, yes, and that's of course part of our concept. On the one hand side, we have traditional wise our conference with um, high ranking speakers, but of course, we like to have something more hands on as well. So, something which uh, has to do with workshops, and on the other side, give partners uh, and exhibitors the opportunity to present at the exhibition stage as well. Yes. And uh, uh, how do you see you know, in organizational stuff here in Brazil as a German person? Uh, yes, yeah, so sometimes it is a little bit challenging, but of course since we are here for the six times, we have our partners over here, we have our, a lot of supporters, uh, like associations like AB Solo for instance, and of course that helps us uh, to, to grow the event here, sure. Okay, so I said so a lot of good things about your event, and uh, can you tell us about our event? How did you enjoy it? It was perfect, so that is a perfect opportunity uh, for us and for the whole industry to meet here, to exchange ideas, to make plans for the future. That is really a success and helps us as well. And do you think because um, still, I mean, this is InterSolar South America, yes? But uh, still it's um, very Brazilian, not yet Latin American, yes? So uh, what are your plans in the future in order to make it truly Latin American, uh, besides uh, cooperating closer with us? Of course, we are working on that. So, so we, we are aware that, of course, the focus at the moment is uh, Brazil, and uh, most of the attendees are Brazilian. But uh, I have to say that uh, the amount of all the people coming from other countries uh, around South America is growing every year. And of course, in, in terms of creating dedicated conference sessions, for instance, doing more here on the trade show, doing something in the workshop program, work with more partners abroad, from other South American countries will of course help us to make it a real South American event. And uh, I remember when we spoke in San Francisco, you explained to me that, um, you know, because we are, work, uh, we are cooperating on a global level, and then you also said that it's like a strategy of InterSolar to be really global, to bring um, the global value to the partners, yes, because of course the industry is becoming global, yes. Yeah, that's correct. And uh, see, of course we have more or less 55 or 60 percent of the exhibitors are Brazilian companies, but that means on the other side we have uh, 40 to 45 percent international companies over here. So that, that means companies from 10 different countries. We have joint booths uh, officially from Germany, from the United States, from India and from China. And of course this is something we like to expand in the future as well, to make, let's say, the, the continent more open for different kinds of participants worldwide. Okay, so you would not reach this success without uh, Marcus, who is founder of InterSolar, yes? That's correct. Who couldn't uh, attend here. Uh, but I would like to give some, you know, uh, credits to Marcus, yes? Because it was his vision 20 now, I think, seven or years ago. 27 years ago, yeah, that's yes, correct, yes. yes. And how is Marcus? Oh, he's so fantastic to work with. So, and, and it, it's all about having a vision and having the right mission to get your goals, um, yeah approved and I guess this is uh, what Marcos uh, did in the in the last couple of centuries we can can say at the moment quite good and of course saying for, for 27 years there was no industry there was really no industry of course there were some some scientists and some some experts and it, uh, it it took a while 
uh, to, to grow the industry and uh, Marcus was there from the beginning on until uh, until now and that's I guess that is the, the overall the long-term picture of the this. new world 100 percent 100 percent of electric cars solar energy uh, peaceful world uh, uh, people with access to jobs etc etc and how intersolar is committed to this goal and how would you like to grow intersolar you know not just focus on the uh, solar business yeah so that's, uh, of course, part of the game as well. So like we did in, in Munich this year, so we expanded our activities. So you might be aware that, of course, there, there, there was InterSolar as uh, the biggest part of our events. Uh, we have um, ES, which is dealing with um, energy storage. And we have now invented two different uh, let's say types of, of brands like power to drive catering for electric vehicles and the the infrastructure you need to, to charge your cars and the m power which is dealing with energy management and intelligent professional use of energy and this is something we like to expand worldwide and that is why we have taken the step or will take the step next year to introduce um, the Smarter E South America, so in comparison to the Smarter E Europe, it's a little bit different. So that means we will have next year here into Solar South America, we will have EAS South America, we will have Electrotech and the Empower South America, and we will of course have a special exhibition Power to Drive South America here as well to give you the whole picture. But you don't think that it's better to make one brand, or because if you will have at the end uh, 50 brandings, uh, people will not be confused? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. On the one hand side, we have the, the smarter E, where E stands for energy, will be the, the umbrella. But of course, it's it's somehow, I have to say, you have on the other side to focus on the sub brands as well. So you have to focus on InterSolar for all the companies dedicated to the solar topics. And of course, there are more uh, companies, and if they're interested in energy storage, then EES is the place to be and like it is if you're doing intelligent systems in terms of energy management and uh, electrical infrastructure then it's electrotech em power for instance so that's yeah. so uh, you will have a lot of work yes and uh, it's always easier to make uh, a lot of work when you have trusted partners yes? yeah that's correct and thank you very much for be some of our trusted partners as well so okay so uh, at the, do you remember what we always do at the end Thumbs up for solar. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much. That was Solar PV TV from InterSolar South America. I think the most crowded event I've ever seen, especially in uh, South America, uh, with Florian, who is, you know, like the boss of all the InterSolar smart events around the globe. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. And see you in India. Thank you so much. Thank you.